What's up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties? I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. The rest of my Wicked dolls have arrived. Well, except for the guy. He was a pre-order with a delivery in November. But my other dolls are here. So let's bring out our Wicked backdrop that stores pretty flat but can expand to give us a little dimension. There's a full tutorial in our first Wicked video where we showed the $25 Elphaba and the Deluxe Glinda, where we had quite a few comments about what her dress was made out of. The edges are singed and it feels kind of like an umbrella material. Today we are looking at the Deluxe Elphaba with a suggested retail price of $39.99. These dolls are made by Mattel and can be found at other retailers. Out of the box, the Deluxe Alphaba comes with braids pulled back into a ponytail. They're curled a little on the ends. The face looks the same as the $25 Alphaba, and she has the same articulation with movement at the head, shoulder, elbow, wrist, hip, and knee. Her hands are posed the same way, so the physical doll is pretty much the same. But the accessories are slightly different. This is the deluxe shoe and this is the $25 shoe. It does have a printed texture and the toe is slightly wider. She has a different dress. It's purple with a black overlay. The bottom of the sleeves are hemmed, but the bottom of the dress is cut. This fabric feels similar to what they use when they're making like a Barbie nightgown. Both dolls come with the same hat, but the deluxe doll has a paint finish on top. Both dolls come with a bag, but they are different. The deluxe bag has more sculpted details, and the deluxe doll comes with a broom. It's a brown plastic broom brushed with a lighter brown, and it is possible to make the doll hold the broom. I was able to balance her to stand, but the deluxe doll does come with a doll stand. The deluxe doll also comes with a cape. It's on a velvet and sheer fabric, and it is removable. It attaches with Velcro at the neck. So there's a $15 difference between the Deluxe and I'm gonna say Core Alphaba. The physical doll is the same, the accessories are similar, but the Deluxe doll comes with a broom, doll stand, and a cape. If I was trying to save a little of my doll budget, I would probably just go with the Core doll and make the broom. Take a wooden dowel that can fit in the doll's hand, cut it at about 10 inches, I cut mine at an angle, then let's sand it to remove any rough edges. I take a toilet paper roll, cut about three inches, make small cuts going all the way around, leaving them connected at the top. Then cut all the way through to open it up. Repeat for the leftover paper tube, then wrap and glue it around the flat end of the wooden dowel. Take another toilet paper roll and I'm gonna cut it in half and repeat to give me another inner layer. And let's add a little hot glue to get it to fan out the way I want. Then we can add the three inch layer, secure it with more glue and add some texture. Then let's add glue going around the wooden dowel, like the technique used for making Harry Potter wands. I add more glue near the bottom of the broom if you don't want to go with just hot glue, you could always use string or yarn because we're going to paint it. I'm using a dark brown acrylic paint and I'm just covering the whole thing. It might be a good idea to paint the bristles as you're gluing on the different layers, if they're even called bristles, because it might be a little tricky to try to get into some of the smaller places later. Allow it to dry. While waiting, we can paint another green sky. And yes, I'm pretending to paint this because I painted it earlier. But now we can have another backdrop showing Elphaba flying through the air. And I just placed it right in the front so I can use it when I want and remove it when I don't. The base coat for our broom is dry. I take a little honey brown paint and we just lightly dry brush the broom to bring out some of those details to make our own inspired broom. It's about the same size, so not too bad. 
Depending on how much glue you add, the broomstick could end up being a little thicker. So just keep that in mind. But now my $25 Elphaba has a broom. And I can make as many brooms as I want. I bought the singing Glinda on Amazon for $24.99. Then, shortly after, it was on sale for $21.99. Correction, $21.98. This doll does have batteries. There's a button you can press right here to have her sing. The song Popular. The face and hair looks pretty similar to the deluxe doll. However, with my dolls, it looks like the eyeshadow is a little more pigmented. The singing doll's ears are not pierced. She has blonde hair with a slight curl, and it might need a little attention out of the box. She has a pink plastic rose in her hair that is removable. She has a pink dress that goes all the way down to the floor. The edges are cut and singed and she has a printed pattern. The print on the dress goes all the way up and around the back. She has large tulle rosettes or pom-poms on her shoulders sewn in the front. She comes with pink shoes that are pretty different from the deluxe doll's shoes. As a singing doll, she has the basic five points of articulation with movement at the head, shoulder, and hip. Now there is another $25 articulated core Glenda. This one right here. But we're already starting to get quite a few dolls of the same character. And I decided to go with the university dolls instead. And now we have three Glendas. With the same makeup and hair color, she comes with a blue plastic headband a blue and pink dress with fabric cut out butterflies stitched at the top, ruffles around the neckline and around the bottom of the sleeves. The top has a butterfly print that continues around the back. The lower part of the dress is a metallic pink and blue. It stops a little past the knee and is hemmed and she has blue shoes that are really cute. She comes with a pink bag with a sculpted and gold painted G. The bag can open and she has a set of books with a removable brown strap. The books are attached to one another and it's possible for the doll to hold them. The University Elphaba was also about $25. She comes with the same makeup and braids, only this time her braids are styled with the front pulled up. She comes wearing a fuzzy cardigan. The buttons and knit pattern are printed. There's an emblem on the chest, an attached blue collared shirt, the print goes all the way around and it velcros in the back. She wears a high-waisted skirt that is separate. It's gray and has pleats in the front with an asymmetrical cut. The pleats do not continue around to the back. She comes wearing a pair of stockings. They are separate. They stop at the ankle. She has the same boots as the core doll, comes with a similar bag. However, the university doll's bag can open. She also comes with a set of books wrapped together with a green ribbon that's plastic and can be removed. And she has the same articulation as the core dolls. As much as I am enjoying these dolls, I definitely have feelings about getting repeat dolls. When the only thing that's really changing is the fashion. In my perfect doll world, the core doll would be sold with Mattel's made to move articulation. Then we could buy the other outfits as fashion packs since these are fashion dolls. So I don't end up with triples and doubles when all I want is the look anyway. Saving me some shelf space and since I'm not buying multiple dolls, hopefully lowering the cost. But this is just me ranting as someone who buys dolls. But since we have the university dolls, let's take a scrap of poster board, cut an eight by 12 inch rectangle, fold over one side two inches, then fold it over an inch, allowing it to stand. I print out some of our printable books, glue them on, cut thin strips of brown cardstock, and we're just gonna lightly dry brush them with a darker brown, then glue them on between the books to make a bookcase prop for those musical numbers at the university. Adding to our Wicked inspired set design. Thank you for joining us while we checked out more Wicked dolls. Be sure to check back for the next video where we show more of our collection because there's more dolls. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at 
My Froggy Stuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time.